In recent years, more and more men are deciding to undergo hair transplantation. It is a complex and not very economical procedure. It is considered a definitive treatment with good results, but it is not entirely decisive, as it is not able to intervene on the causes that triggered baldness. Hair transplantation is so-called because the patient autoduns the follicles from a thicker head area, usually behind the neck. They are collected with tools, capable of retrieving them, one at a time, in order to then graft them into another area, more or less thinned out, called the receiving area. Fortunately, in most people affected by androgenetic alopecia, the most common type of hair loss, a crown of hair, remains in the occipital region, available for transplantation. Hair transplantation is a real surgery that must always be performed by a specialized surgeon and qualified personnel. The number of follicles that the nape can donate are limited and any doctor's errors can damage the donor area and lead to disastrous, often irrecoverable, results. The two main techniques for performing a hair transplant are butt technique, few technique. They differ in the way hair is removed from the scalp. Foot Technique, Follicular Unit Transplantation, or Strip It consists of taking an entire strip of the scalp, from the nape, where hair growth is regular, through the use of a single, double, or triple blade scalpel. This strip, just removed, is then sectioned several times in order to remove the intact follicular units. At this point, an assistant, with the use of special binocular microscopes, separates the groups of follicular units from the strip, and removes the excess of febrous and adipose tissues, being careful not to damage the cells of the follicle. Subsequently, the surgeon uses microblades or very small needles to puncture the recipient area. The new follicular units that have been selected will then be implanted here. Finally, sutures are applied and the result will be a very thin scar at the donor area. Today, however, thanks to research and technological innovation in the instrumentation used, hair transplantation is mostly performed with another technique called few technique follicular unit extraction. It is an auto-transplantation technique and consists in taking follicular units from the patient's donor area under local anesthesia. In this way, every single capillary bulb is taken and then transplanted in the desired area after having cleaned it of any organic residues. They are usually taken from the back or side of the head where the hair is usually thickest. Subsequently, the specialist, using microscalpels or very fine needles, makes small holes in the area where the individual grafts will then be positioned in the area. It is a less invasive technique than the others, it does not leave very evident marks on the patient's scalp and guarantees faster and more natural hair regrowth. The few technique eliminates the risk of immunological rejection. The treatment is carried out in a single session or over several shorter sessions. The time depends on the characteristics of the patient, i.e., on how large the area to be thickened is and on the degree of density to be reached. If it is a medium-large area, the intervention is carried out in a single session of about four hours. The days immediately after the transplant are very important. You may notice a slight swelling in the area affected by the transplant with the formation of blood clots in the incision area of the recipient sites. It is generally recommended to Do not wash your hair in the three days following the surgery. Do not cut the hair with the machine in the donor area. Do not use the hair dryer in the month following the operation. Avoid smoking and consuming alcohol as they delay healing. Sleep with your head raised slightly. Avoid exposure to sunlight and also protect yourself from rain and wind. Avoid major efforts such as lifting weights or swimming. The post-transplant period includes several stages or evolutionary stages. In the first week, the crusts will form and then they will fall off. There will be a physiological reaction of the body called shock hair loss, which will lead to hair loss and can occur two to eight weeks after the operation. 
One of the triggering causes in addition to the trauma that the scalp undergoes is the lack of oxygen, as during the transplant operation, the bulbs remain outside the scalp for a few hours. This is a normal response of the body to the treatment undergone. However, the hair bulb is firmly anchored to the hair bulb. It is the hair that falls out and not the bulbs. Over the next few weeks, you will see new hair grow. They will be thin at first, but gradually get thicker over time. On average, after a period of about one year from the operation, the patient will see the final result.